These are the times when we are our most innovative because we have to do the same mission, but typically with less stuff. So this is an opportunity for us to do that, for us to embrace newer technologies and to get back to our austere roots. This is the way the Marine Corps is shifting toward they're getting away from using fuel and they're gonna, they're gonna start using secondary resources to power these kind of things. More recently, we used GREENS, uh, which is the Ground Renewable Expeditionary Energy Network Systems. And it's a solar powered system that uh, gives about 1.2 kilowatts of power. It had worked, uh, maybe not to my liking, uh, first off, but then uh, when we had all the, the proper cables and connectors, um, it, it's, it, it's done wonderfully. I was skeptical and intimidated. You got these huge solar panels that take up quite a footprint. Um, a technology I'd not seen before. Once we actually got out here and started hooking it up to the systems we usually hook up generators to, namely the fire direction center and the guns, and seeing that it was in fact capable of running those for you know, an infinite period of time. When applying this system, so that's going to allow us to have more money for uh, those training evolutions. Uh, if we're saving fuel, then we can actually uh, maybe use that towards the ammunition uh, or other aspects of that training. Any type of operations that you're using, that you're doing that requires energy, you require fuel. Pushing those logistical convoys out there, fuel specific, is a very large footprint. When you have the engine running, there are all kinds of issues. You're, one, you're consuming fuel. Fuels weigh 10 pounds, a gallon, whatever the case. That's one of the three or four logistics tethers that I don't have to worry about so much. The ability to have a greens technology and use less fuel means that you're putting less marines on the road it means you actually have to put less people in harm's way to support an asset not only do we need to have the fuel to run those generators and trucks but that just creates more of a maintenance burden which honestly is where you know it probably creates the biggest problem for us is maintenance on that equipment you know you have an unending source of power uh with, with solar rays so uh taking advantage of it, it's just taking one more step closer to what everyone else is doing you know it's taking modern technology, sort of off-the-shelf technology that's been there for individuals and corporations and taking it, bringing it in the Marine Corps. When you start to look at more efficient energy sources that require less fuel to operate, you actually have other side benefits of lightening the MAGTAP at the same time, making them less reliant on things like bulk liquids, like fuel, uh, and it plays a huge role into making your Marines more survivable and more lethal in the future.